Hi, this is Vicki with Condi Systems Tech Support. And today I'm going to show you how to configure color management for Photoshop CS5. I'm going to begin by showing you how to install the ICC profile. If you don't have an ICC profile, you can contact Condi at 1-800-826-6332. We provide ICC profiles for all our Condi clients. If you have a sublimation system, then you're entitled to uh, a profile for color management. I want to begin by showing you how to install the profile. I have mine already downloaded to my Mac. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to copy. I'm going to get rid of this. I don't need it. And I'm going to go go to my computer. I'm going to go to library. I'm going to go to color sync. Double click profiles. I'm going to right click. I'm going to paste my profile in my profiles folder. And that's all there is to installing the profile. Now what I want to do is open up my Photoshop CS5 version. So I'm going to go to go again. I'm going to click on my applications. And I'm going to find Photoshop CS5. I'm going to double click it. And now I want a new document and I'm going to change this to actually we're going to name it demo and we're going to jump down and change this to inches just to make it big enough so that you can see what I'm going to do we'll make it five inches is good all we want to do is put something on the page so that you can access all your color management settings color mode is always going to be RGB with our profiles uh, we create our profiles with RGB uh, background contents is transparent and, and that's what I want. So I'm going to say OK. And that's going to give me a new document. I'm going to stretch this document out so that you can see it better. I'm going to go over and left click in my tools on the square because I don't really care at this point what I have on my page. Just, just as long as I can access all my settings and that requires me to put something across my document. I'm going to put a square. And now I want to go to edit left click on edit and then left click on color settings as you can see I already have a setting here that says Condi GX 7000 and this is how we want it to look so your RGB setting is going to be sRGB and if you don't know how to access uh, any other profiles just click your fly out and you'll find these settings in there and that's for any of these the CMYK defaults this way and that's what we want the gray and the spot is fine color management policies as you can see you can find convert to working RGB and the other two are going to be preserve embedded profiles check all three boxes here ask when opening ask when opening and ask when pasting your intent is going to be perceptual if you don't see the settings below color management make sure you click on more options as you can see it changes and then you want to save it I have already saved mine so I'm just going to uh, show you how to save it again just so you know and I'm gonna call it we'll call it Condi GX700 and we're just gonna say save and it's asking me if I want to replace it which is fine I didn't change anything now it's gonna ask you to define your setting I wrote I typed in sublimation so that I know that my GX7000 refers to a sublimation printer and then I'm gonna say OK and we're done with the color settings uh, dialog box so we're going to say OK again. Now I'm ready to go to my print menu so I'm going to go to file and I'm going to left click on print and that's going to open up my print dialog box where I can um, apply my profiles, choose my printer and such as that. So the first thing I want to do is to choose my printer and that's my gel sprinter GX7000 for this demonstration. Again the color management settings that we're doing now would apply to any uh, sublimation system including your Epson with the exception of flipping the image. Uh, we're going to flip the image with the Rico in the application because the Epson printers are you're able to save the mirror image from most of the uh, driver menus on the in, in the printer folder but you're not able to do it with Mac. Uh, some of you Mac users do have the ability to do that with the newer drivers 
and that's okay. But if you don't, I'm going to show you how to mirror the image now. So go over here where you see color management. We're going to change it to output. So in Photoshop CS5, you have an emulsion down checkbox, and that allows us to mirror the image. Now I'm ready to go back to color management. And in color management, I can see my color handling settings. And I'm going to make sure that I have Photoshop manages color. Once I have Photoshop manages color, I can choose my profile, which I already have selected here, the GX7000 dye trends, because it, it corresponds with my sublimation printer. And uh, every printer will have its own ICC profile and the GX7000 uh, is the one we're going to use today. So I've chosen that. Rendering intent is going to be perceptual. As always, you click the flyout and choose the perceptual. Black point compensation is checked by default. I'm going to leave that. And now we're ready to print. However, we're just done uh, with this setting. So I'm going to say done because I, I really don't want to print. I just want to show you how to set up color management. Uh, and that's all there is to the color management settings for CS5 Photoshop version. You people who uh, are Condi clients, feel free to give us a call if you have any questions about how to set up color management with Photoshop CS5. Again, my name is Vicki, and I'm with Condi Systems Tech Support. If you have any questions at all, you can call us at 1-800-826-6332, and we're happy to help you set up your color management. Anyone and support could help you with this. Thank you for your time.